Hi, this is Alfouzia Nihar from At Home Tuition. Welcome to our session today. The topic that we are going to discuss in today's video is finding equation of a circle that passes through three points, three given vertices x comma y. Okay, we discussed in our last four videos the topics circle, segment, equation of circle and determinant formulas and many theorems on circles. Now we are going to find equation of circle when three x y coordinates are given. We are going to discuss all these seven methods with suitable examples step by step. Here we go. Method 1. In this first method, substituting points in general form of circle and we are going to solve the coefficient. This is the method we are going to follow here. Let me write the example on the board. Please read the question. We are given three points. Okay, to illustrate the problem, it is better to sketch the circle with three points. Let me draw it on the board. So this is the graph. This circle encloses all the three points. Okay. We know the equation of circle in standard form. Let me write the standard form of equation of circle on the board. Here is the equation of circle in standard form where h and k is the coordinate of center of a circle and the r on the right side is called the radius of the circle. In this problem, center and radius of a circle are not given. So we cannot use the equation of circle in standard form. So I am going to use equation of circle in general form. In case if your question is giving the details about the center and radius, you can directly use the standard form. Since the information is not enough, I am going to use the general form. So here is the equation of a circle in general form where d, e and f are the coefficients. Since the three points of a circle are given, we can use the equation of circle in general form and then we can solve for d, e, f. Okay. First, let us plug in the given points here. First given point is 2 comma 3. So please look at the question. We have three pairs of points. First, we are going to plug in this one and then we are going to plug in the other two pairs also and get the equations. Then we can solve it. Let us now replace x by 2 and y by 3 in the general form equation. So let us see what equation we are getting. We are just replacing, substituting these two values. Let us simplify it. I am going to combine all the like terms. Subtract 13 from both these sides. Keep only the variables on the left hand side. Let this be equation number 1. Same way, let us plug in the second pair, 6 comma 1. We are going to plug in x is equal to 6 and y equal to 1 in the same general form of the circle. So we will get, so work out the squares and shift the constant to the other side of the equation. 6 square and 1 square. 37. Subtracting 37 from both these sides we get, let this be equation number 2. So let us do the same process with the third pair 4 comma negative 3. That is we are going to substitute x equal to 4 and y equal to negative 3. So the equation will become so far we didn't deal with any negative number but here in the place of y we have negative 3. So this e term will become a negative 1. For solving the system of linear equations we need to be careful with the rules of the signs. So once you are starting with this problem uh, please go through the rules of signs like multiplication division, addition and subtraction so that your problems will be mistake free. Now just combine the like terms. Subtract 25 from both these sides so we will get let this be equation number 3. Since three points of a circle are given there are three equations and we have three unknowns. We can now solve for DEF by elimination method. Hope you are familiar with substitution method and elimination method. Yeah, the same way we are going to use the elimination method here. If you want to eliminate any of the variable, we just do subtraction or addition. Here, I am going to subtract equation number 2 from equation number 1. Let me write the equation number 2 and 1 here first. Since I am subtracting, I am going to write a negative sign before this one. So the signs will change here. So you will get 2d minus 6d is negative 4d. 3e minus e because you are multiplying the minus sign. So 3e minus e will be 2e. Same way, if you multiply negative and negative, it will become a positive one. 
so negative 13 plus 37 so we have two numbers with different signs so what do we do we, do, we perform subtraction and write the largest number sign in your answer 37 is the larger one and it is a positive one because you're multiplying it by negative so 13 and 37 if you subtract it I'm getting 24 obviously f minus f is 0 because we perform this step because we wanted to eliminate any one of the variable so here we are eliminating f so the equation I got is negative 4d plus 2d equal to 24 please note that all the numbers are multiples of 2 so I'm going to re reduce this equation by 2 so that our calculation will be easy so this would become 2e here so after reducing we get negative 2d plus e equal to 12 let this be equation number 4 let me get one more equation with the variables d and e so I can do subtraction equation 3 from equation 2 so if you subtract equation 3 from equation 2 we will get an equation in terms of d and e let me show that on board equation 3 and equation 2 is since we are going to subtract I'm going to write a negative sign before this equation following the rules of sign let us subtract 6d minus 4d is 2d e plus 3e because my negative negative gives positive one so 4e here ff gets cancelled out 37 negative negative is plus 25 so negative 12 is your right side equation let this be equation number 5 since the coefficients of d is same for equation number 4 and 5 I'm going to perform addition so if I add I can eliminate d and solve for e our equation number 4 our equation number 5 add the map negative 2d positive 2d gets cancelled out 4 4e plus e will give you 5e so on the right hand side 12 minus 12 will become 0 divide both these sides by 5 will get any number divided by 0 will give you infinity because we cannot count how many zeros are there in any number same way 0 by any number will give you 0 because there is no number in 0 so whenever you get 0 divided by any number or term it will become 0 now let us substitute the value of e to equation number 4 or equation number 5 so that we can get the value of d just like substituting back I'm going to plug in e value in equation number 5 2d plus 4e equal to negative 12 replace e by 0 4 times 0 is 0 so 2d equal to negative 12 divide both these sides by 2 so d value will be equal to negative 6 so far we got the values for e and d now let's find the value for f so I'm going to substitute the value of d negative 16 and e 0 to equation number 1 or equation number 2 or equation number 3 any equation so the equation that I'm going to use is replace d by negative 16 and e by 0 we do not know what is f we are going to solve for that only perform multiplication following the rules of sign d is actually 6 okay 2 times negative 6 is negative 12 3 times 0 is 0 so we need not write this number add 12 on both these sides so we will get negative 13 plus 12 will give you negative 1 so f value equal to negative 1 we have got all the values f d and e so let us substitute the value of d e f to the equation of circle in general form this is our general form replace d by negative 6 e by 0 and f by negative 1 perform multiplication following the rules of sign so negative times positive is negative positive times negative is negative and 0 this term will vanish therefore the equation of a circle for the given points three points is x square plus y square minus 6x minus 1 which is equal to 0 and that's it for this problem so when in your question you don't have the center and radius information you can use the general form of the circle and solve for the coefficients by substituting the given points one by one 
So you will get three equations. You could either perform substitution or elimination. Whatever method is comfortable for you. Just like solving the linear equation we do in system of equations. So this is the gist of the problem. You just have to graph it. Take the general form. Plug in the first pair, second pair and third pair and perform elimination or substitution. Here I am following elimination. So I get two more equations and solving that to get one of the variable value and then back substituting again and again. Finally I am plugging in the values in the general equation. So that I will get the equation of a circle. Hope you are clear with the method. So this is what we do in method number one. So in our next video, we can see the other methods. Hope you are clear with this example and this method. In case if you have any query or in case if you have any request on a, any topic, you can let me know. See you in the next video. Have a great time ahead.